So I've got my lapel hidden here, and I'm gonna start talking shit to the barber the entire time I'm getting a haircut. Let's see what happens. Good. Nothing feels like I'm gonna cut your hair, but I'm just gonna put this smock over you so I don't have to look at your hideous body. After you're done, do you reckon you can uh, bag the leftovers? Get a bag. Can I get one of those ghost haircuts? Ghost haircuts? Yeah, you know like, if you die, you keep the same haircut that you die with. So like, it needs to be good. It's, the pressure's on you, bro. I'm, I'm gonna haunt you with the haircut that you get. <laughs> actually, actually, have you ever actually given a haircut to a dog? No. If you tried to, would you even know where to start and where to finish? Like, where would the pubes like start with a dog? Have you ever met a bald barber with no hair? How would you trust them though? Because it's like going to a dentist with no teeth. Have you ever had someone come in and just looked at them and go, bruh, I need to get my emergency scissors out. Like, you need some yeah. serious help. Oh yeah, I've had that before. Say a celebrity sat here yeah. and you had to cut their hair. Which celebrity would you be most nervous to cut? Yeah, big Chris Brand fan, I wanna yeah. fuck him up, mate. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> have you ever considered having like a side hustle where you take all the leftover yeah. hairs home and, oh, and like yeah. stuff pillows and sell them on Etsy or something. Yeah. <laughs> Ever had any single mums come in and want you to cut their hair or cut their grass? Nah, but I've had mums ask my number and stuff. I had one girl, uh, she had a coffee in her hand. The coffee smells so good. And she was like, oh yeah, and she left and then she came back with a coffee and on the coffee cup had her number on it. Ooh. Ooh. How I met your mother. <laughs> Have you ever fucked up someone's hair so bad that they came back to film it all for their TikTok? 